Doksan literally means coming to the master alone. It is a private interview and individual instruction by the teacher in his or her room. We cannot say that our Zen practice is truly authentic if we do not have Doksan. People come to the practice in different ways, just as different people have different backgrounds, different personalities, different ideas and thoughts, so they take to the practice differently. Some set out quickly, then tape off. Some start slowly, then gather speed. Others follow a more erratic pace, etc. This is why it is necessary to have personal guidance, which takes place in Doksan. It is necessary to conduct Doksan in a private space with only the teacher and the student present. When we are with other people, most of us tend to assume a more impressive face than our real ones. It is very difficult to bear our souls with others around. It is very difficult to be completely honest when we fear being judged. This is why privacy is supremely important for authentic guidance. In this way, a close and singular bond is also developed between teacher and student, paving the way for the student to deepen his or her practice in an authentic way. After experiencing Kensho, a student goes through a series of koans. If others hear how these are presented, then they might acquire some intellectual understanding of the koans, which they might mistake for the real experience, thus harming their Zen practice. Koans are grasped only experientially. Thus, it is also important never to discuss your doksan encounters, even with your closest friends or family. The koan method is sheltered in secrecy to guarantee the students an authentic encounter with genuine experience. We also have to keep in mind the proper subject for Doksan. It does not include purely philosophical or theoretical questions, nor family, nor relationship, nor other private problems. The teacher is not a therapist or counselor. Only matters of ultimate concern, directly related to a concrete Zazen practice, are pertinent. 